What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, y'all. And I, I'm, I'm excited, man. Every time around this time of year, I'm excited. I like the colder weather. And it's college football season. Now, y'all, before I get started in this video, this video is in no way sponsored by anything. But I'm, try, I'm starting to try out Gamefly. Uh, which basically what Gamefly is, is you, you, you rent a game or a movie and there's no return or late fees. And so essentially you just you're renting this game. It's a great way to try them out, play them. And if you don't like them, send them back. If you like them, then you can purchase them directly from Gamefly. Um, I currently right now am able to do like one game a month and it's like 15 bucks a month. But if you, you can do two or more and I think it goes up to about 20 something dollars a month, which is a really good deal. You put the game in your queue and if the game is available, then they'll ship you the game. It normally takes about two to four days, so you'll have it within a week. And it's really cool. New games, even just games that just came out or whatever. Now, I will tell you this, that those games are rated in a sense of low, medium, and high as far as the availability. If it's a low availability, it could take a while to get that game simply because they probably don't have it in stock. Now, I will tell you this, though. Gamefly does tell you to keep at least 10 games in your queue. That way you always have a game to play. And it's very fun and it's very cool because they have a ton of games to choose from. Right now I got Monster Hunter because I've never played it. Wanted to try it out. And to me it's better than Redbox because they have a lot larger selection. And there's no late fee. You just pay the small monthly payment and you're good to go. So y'all, I'm going to give you a free month on DM Gaming on Andre because it's in my name. The link is down in the description. Try it out for a month and let me know how you like it now to the big thing okay if you notice on twitter if you follow here mr tua on twitter you'll notice that he even made a tweet about bringing back ncaa football and not only him but game day espn game day retweeted it as also did the man himself the myth the legend kirk curb street y'all there are a plethora of people, and this is what makes me excited. There's a plethora of people wanting this game back. And I know people, y'all, stop talking about IMV. I understand that IMV is coming out with a game, probably in the year 2020. It's not going to be next year, okay? This game is not an NCAA licensed game. Yes, it, it have a college format. You'll be able to play it in the college style. You can create those teams in stadiums and uniforms, but... I want the authentic. I'm just being upfront with you. And a company like EA Sports or 2K Sports or San Diego Studios is who I would really love to make a licensed college football game. But that's another video for another day. These companies can put out a game next year if they wanted to. They, it's that easy for them because they have the resources. They could even take the mold from NCAA 14 and just upgrade the graphics. I don't care regardless. I want one of those three companies to do this game. I know a lot of people knock EA Sports, but to me, EA Sports, while Madden may not be the biggest thing on the block, they do a really great job with NHL. They do a decent job with NBA Live. FIFA is always good. You know, so there are departments within EA Sports that do a good job with their sports titles. In 2K, we know their reputation with NFL 2K5. And I'm telling y'all, the sleeper is San Diego Studios. If you play MLB The Show on PlayStation, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And you'll know exactly why I recommend them to do a college football game. But I digress. Y'all, there's a lot of steam. And I like this because a lot of the big guys, the people that you want to make noise about this is making noise about this. When you have a guy like Tua, and I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I'm going to butcher it. So I'm going to just call him Tua 13. Two or 13, baby. Look, when he being a freshman, that means he was probably a freshman to a sophomore in high school when NCAA 14 came out. And I was sitting there thinking, wow, it seems like that game has been out a lot longer than five years. But no, the game came out literally, what, five is 2018. So it came out in 13. Yeah, that it came out literally five years ago. And so... I was like, wow, it seems like it's been a lot longer than that because it does feel like it's been longer than that. But it hasn't, y'all. So we've only been five years out, out from a college football game and people are really missing it. Rex is always on Twitter talking about bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. And I know with Rex being on the inside at EA Sports, he knows why they can't bring it back. He knows if they're able to bring it back. So I honestly feel like Rex knows 
that EA Sports is able to bring this game back. Otherwise, he wouldn't be wasting all of these tweets saying he misses the game, he misses the game, he misses the game. And he tweeted to the NCAA EA Sports football page. And I tweeted back, if y'all go look on my retweet, y'all will see that. Um, I asked him, I was like, you know, nobody works this page and blase, blase. And he told me basically he's just trying to get them. He says, I know that they can't comment on it. He said, I'm just trying to get those guys to bite, but I know they're not going to do it. So that leads me to believe that EA Sports may be working on the NCAA football game. Either that or they may be in the works, in the talks of bringing it back. Or number three, it's possible. It is now at a point in time where it is possible for them to bring this game back. I truly and my heart of hearts believe that we will hear something within a year that this game is going to come back. When a guy like Kirk Kerbstreet gets out and says, I want this game back. And mind you, IMB is trying to get Kirk Kerbstreet to work for them to uh, do commentary and stuff for IMB. And I'm kind of watching Kirk because that'll kind of tell the tale of tale. Because if he works for NCAA in commentary, it's going to be in his contract that he can't work for any other video game sports, especially a football game. So if he doesn't take the IMV job, it's possible that he could be in the works with working with EA Sports to bring back NCAA 19. Well, not 19 because, well, yeah, 19. 19 would have come out this year. So we're looking at NCAA 20, something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm excited, man, because it's a great time and you have a lot of people who really miss this game. It does boggle my mind that this game is so awesome in 2013 with the NCAA 14 release imagine where we where we could be right now now my thing is this and this is what i believe i could be wrong however i feel that ea sports can bring the game back but the reason they're struggling with it is not because of sales because i guarantee you this game would outsell madden it would outsell nba live it would outsell nhl and it would be a close game to outsell fifa fifa's tough to outsell because unlike football soccer is worldwide now the thing about it is this. We know that their football model is ultimate team. Even in, even in FIFA, ultimate team is their cash cow. So you look at EA Sports' two biggest titles in Madden and FIFA, and what do they have in common? Ultimate team. Being able to take those players' likenesses and images and use them in a fantasy card-style game-type mode. And the issue with the NCAA is that they EA Sports doesn't mind cutting the players a little cut from the game but ea sports they're not able to do that because the ncaa doesn't allow players to receive money from outside sources and things like that which is really bogus in my opinion if you ask me i can see it both ways because in some universities these guys are getting hundred thousand dollar scholarships not to mention room and board traveling on airplanes the weight room their food like if you count and calculated how much they spend on these players during a football season it's easily millions of dollars you see and these players in turn bring in even more money to these colleges and universities now i know a lot of people players may say well we bring in all of this money we should be able to be compensated but it's a team effort you're playing for your team which is your college not to mention a lot of the money that the football program brings in goes to pay for other or fund other scholarships throughout the school sporting academic program. You see what I'm saying? So I can see it both ways. Now, when I was in college, we had a paper that we had to sign that said that the school has the right to use our likeness, our image, and things like that. And so I was kind of thrown off whenever all of this stuff came out, maybe because the NCAA didn't have that back then. That's why these players were able to you know, say these things. However, my cousin who played at SMU around 2003, uh, to 2000, what he came 2003, 2004, 2005, 6, 7. He was in one of the NCAA games and he actually got some money from that, that, that whole thing that fell out with EA Sports using their likeness and image and things like that. So the checks have already been cutting all those kinds of things, y'all. I think, and I truly believe that it is now that window of opportunity for EA Sports to do this. I don't see them not bringing this game back. Only because there is so much money to be made. The only barrier I feel that we need to cross is that EA Sports wants to be able to use their likenesses so that they can make an ultimate team for college football. Now, you're going to say, DM, there was an ultimate team for football. And yes, it was. But who remembers it? Nobody. I don't see anybody playing YouTube videos, playing 
the the ultimate team, the tra the like Madden Ultimate Team. I don't see them doing the NCAA 14 Ultimate Team stuff on YouTube. Why? Because it's not popular. People like the Ultimate Team stuff because yeah, you get to play with players that are current in the NFL and FIFA and things like that. Also, you do get to play with the older players, and I understand that. But people are more excited about the players for now. Also, in Madden, they even had what was it? Madden 2012, maybe. In their ultimate team where you had the college players who were in the league and stuff like that. So EA Sports have been testing it out. And I don't think that took too well. So you didn't have a lot of people doing that. Also, last year in Madden uh, 2018, they had the college teams, Oregon and Texas, in the game. And a lot of people really liked that. In my opinion, I feel like EA Sports was kind of uh, testing the waters as to see you know, what's going to be good, what are people like, and, and the people are crazy about it. Now, the benefit of this, and this is the last thing I say, the benefit of them not being able to do an ultimate team in NCAA to the effects of Madden and FIFA is that a lot of the resources aren't going to be devoted to that. With college being the type of game that it is, you cannot put out a college football game and not focus on presentation and the pageantry of the game, the recruiting and things like that, because that's what makes college football. It's not like FIFA and the NFL. So if they do come back out, with them, which I truly believe that they will, based off of all the steam that's going on, man, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great to be able to see it on next gen. Not to mention in Madden 19, and I knew this would happen, and I told y'all this in an earlier video, when it come into PC, you would have the modding community getting their hands on it, and they are doing what? making college football mods and i'm telling you it looks phenomenal if i mean we saw what ncaa football would look like on the ps4 last year in madden with texas and oregon can you imagine what these other teams and stadiums and the recruiting and the the pre-game post-game all this stuff would look like now with playstation 4 xbox one x and 4k hdr my mind is going insane for this game y'all literally this game would be on my list top number one this game would sell millions of copies i guarantee you and that's why i know ea sports knows the potential they're gonna bring this game back stay tuned to the channel y'all if you're new don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below with do you believe that ea sports will bring ncaa football back and y'all please if you don't like ea sports I don't don't even comment, man. I already know the people that don't like EA Sports. I'm saying if you want them to, because let's be real, NCAA wasn't like Madden. NCAA was good. The team that worked on NCAA was awesome. So let me know down in the comment section down below. Till next time, thanks for watching, y'all, and God bless.